This morning, the NYPD stepping up patrols in Jewish communities across the city. The increased police presence is aimed at curbing a rise in anti-Semitic attacks and calming the fears of communities. CBS 2's John Diaz is live in Borough Park, Brooklyn with more. John. Good morning to both of you. Well, the NYPD's Hate Crimes Task Force is actively looking into this latest anti-Semitic attack. The NYPD telling us that it happened on Saturday, a Sabbath day for this community. Anti-Semitism has to be stopped immediately. It's just out of control. A plea from community leaders for a safe space and a promise from the NYPD for more patrols. New York City is on alert, including Jewish neighborhoods, in the wake of more anti-Semitic attacks. It's important that we have the police presence so the people should feel comfortable walking around. The latest attack happened Saturday night in Borough Park, Brooklyn. Police say the men in these surveillance photos went on an anti-Semitic crime spree. It started around 7 p.m. when they allegedly yelled anti-Jewish words at a group of men standing outside a synagogue on 16th Avenue. The victims ran inside and locked them out. The suspects then started banging on the door. 45 minutes later, they assaulted two teenagers walking on Ocean Parkway off 18th Avenue. They demanded the two say anti-Jewish statements. When they refused, the suspects beat them, holding one victim in a chokehold. One suspect chased after them with a baseball bat as they escaped. There is a stain of anti-Semitism that still lurks in this city, in this country, around the world. The mayor says that has to stop. Over the weekend, he and NYPD Chief of Department Rodney Harrison met with Jewish community leaders to discuss ways to keep neighborhoods safe. Anybody who breaks the safety of this community and attacks people because who they are must be punished. On Sunday, hundreds rallied in Lower Manhattan against anti-Semitic attacks abroad and here at home. There are now 63 reported anti-Jewish attacks in New York City this year, compared to 60 the same time period last year. Locals questioned where police were Saturday night. Chief Harrison says he's to blame. I'll take ownership of that. You know, we had a uh, meeting with each one of our borough chiefs to make sure that their presence was there. Uh, the misunderstanding is if you have to take officers from other places to make sure that's covered, then do as such. And that's where the mistake was made, and we are correcting it. Now, many who live in this area and inside these communities say there's no room for these kind of mistakes. But they do say, though, that this you know, extra police presence is a step in the right direction. We're live this morning from Borough Park, Brooklyn. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. All right, John, thanks.